Easter sunrise service, so if you miss it this morning, don't worry about it. We're going to continue all of it. We had to hold back a little bit, but we're ready to ride now. Amen. 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 So we are the only ones to make a big deal out of Easter, are we? It wasn't long after February the 14th on Valentine's Day that the Easter candy began to appear in the stores. You hear the Easter egg hunts that are sponsored by various churches and organizations. The announcements start to happen amongst, you know, the community about those. You hear the Easter Bunny maybe come on the radio about where the Easter Bunny is going to be. Granted, it may be, isn't quite as big as Christmas with Santa Claus, but there are plenty who make a big deal, and we should, out of Easter. Easter is a big deal. But not because of the colored eggs and baskets. We may have fun with them, but never forget that Easter is a big deal because why? He won. This day is a foundation for every other day. Everything else that you and I do and say revolves around what happened on that very first Easter. Easter is a big deal, and you're going to hear me say it throughout this message this morning, but Easter is a big deal because our eternal God took on human flesh, and the Son of God shared in our humanity. He became perishable in our place. He was human just like you and I are human. He experienced and endured everything that human beings do. Easter is a big deal, brothers and sisters, because now Jesus is no longer perishable, but he is imperishable. Imperishable. He won. You and I are here this morning because he won. As soon as someone wins, that means someone else had to lose. Well, what loss? What did we lose? Dead loss. Where, oh, death is your victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin. And the power of sin is the law. Death takes us back to God's will. God's holy law tells us what our Lord expects of each and every one of us. Easter is a big deal because he won. That means death is now like a wasp that lost its stinger. It still scares us. It still makes some noise. We don't like it when it comes around, but death no longer has any power. His power was taken away when our Lord Jesus yes, stepped yes, into death yes, yes. and then stepped out again. He won. Death has been swallowed up in victory. He is risen. He has risen indeed. Easter is a big deal, friends. Can you imagine life without Easter and Jesus didn't rise, and there is no resurrection. Mm-hmm. He did rise. Easter is a big deal because he, he won. Yes, he won. Because he rose, we now know that every promise he made has been kept. Every promise that is still to be fulfilled will be kept. Yes. Our Lord Jesus came to this earth and he won. Easter is a big deal. Yes, it is. And as I've said this morning during Easter sunrise service, There are other holidays that get more attention than Easter. And I mentioned Christmas a little earlier, but without Christmas, even, excuse me, without Easter, even Christmas wouldn't mean that much. Easter is a big deal. And I know that I can keep singing and saying it, but do you get it? That Easter is a big deal. Jesus gives us the victory. You know, a Christian funeral is not just an attempt to make someone feel better. A Christian funeral should be a celebration of Easter and the assurance that one day, just as Christ died, that person will rise again with Christ, just as Christ promises. We won. And since we won, and since Jesus did rise, that means death has no more power. It has all been paid Mm -hmm. because Jesus rose from the dead. Maybe you've won something.
something in your lifetime, or in the, you know, the past, and you are aware of a reaction, right, when somebody wins something. The size of the prize, of course, affects how much somebody reacts, right? If someone wins five dollars, you might see them smile and say, I won five dollars. But if someone wins five billion dollars, they are jumping and screaming and hugging and telling everybody, man, I won five billion dollars. Woo! Well, thanks be to God that we won. We won something worth more than five billion dollars. More than any Powerball ticket in this world could ever measure up to. After these past six weeks of Lent, I, for one, enjoy the upbeat hymns that we sing, especially the ones at Easter time that have the happier words in them. And there's just something about Easter hymns that make us happy and want to shout a little bit and throw up our hands. We don't just have to sing those songs during Easter. We can sing them each and every day of our lives. Thanks be to God that we won. That means we don't just praise Him with our voices, but we have to praise Him with our lives as well. Amen. Therefore, my beloved, my be steadfast and movable, always excelling in the work of the Lord. Because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. I'm sure you've heard that scripture before that comes from 1 Corinthians 15. Sometimes we forget that this verse is connected to the resurrection of our Lord as well. Right after describing how Jesus, resurrection assures us that we are perishable and mortal, we become imperishable in immortal. He talks about how that affects our lives now, that we won, yes. that will affect how we live. Yes. So stand firm. Life isn't always easy, and the world is constantly on the attack. But don't waver, friends. We can stand firm in the victory yes. that he won. And that should give us hope. Let nothing move you. Whether it's financial difficulty, health issues, family problems, or whatever comes your way, don't budge. We won. Jesus' resurrection guarantees us that we won. No amount of trouble can change the fact that we won. How can we not be abundant in our praise and in our inner thanks mm -hmm. and in our lives to the God who tells us that we won? And when you live for your Lord and Savior who has already lived and died for you, you can be assured that it will not be a waste of your time. Yes. You know that your labor is not in vain. Praising our God cannot be a waste of time. Praising our God cannot be a waste of our energy. Praising our God cannot be a waste of our resources. Oh, Easter is a big deal, and we won. Yes, Have you yes. been going as if Jesus was still dead? Is your attitude forgetting that you won? Jesus is not dead. Amen. As we heard this morning from Mary's lips, we have seen the Lord. Yes. We not know that God's anger has been turned away. We watch his anger be directed at the cross, and now all we see is his loving smile. Let us all give God praise and thanks for the wonder and hope and color of this resurrection day. Let us give thanks for resurrection in all its glorious dimensions and forms. Butterflies are beginning to emerge. Christ is risen. The burdens that we carry have been lifted. Christ is risen. Hope is alive. Christ is risen. The world is awash in lights and color and warmth. For Christ has risen. Life has overcome the sting of death. The stone has been rolled away. Christ is risen. Christ is risen and deep. Let me tell you, I remember going to Easter egg hunts when 
smart. I'm going to ask Sandra to help me pass these eggs out. I hope I have enough for everybody, so you might have to share one per family. But don't open these eggs up until I tell you to open the eggs up. There's a surprise in there. Don't get too excited. But I love a good Easter egg hunt because I always look forward to finding what kind of candy was going to be in the egg. Jesus Christ.